Bologna is in the heart of Italy and boasts the oldest university in the Western world. It's also known for its intricate porticos that have now claimed UNESCO recognition. The new mayor says the ancient archways are the soul of the city and a symbol of prosperity. Hope is a key word for me after two years of COVID. Uh, uh, around these porticos uh, we have to uh, build a new hope for our community. The porticos stretch 62 kilometres across the city. Twelve sections now have the UNESCO title. They include Piazza Cavour and the hundreds of archways leading to the sanctuary of San Luca. Dating back to the 11th century, they represent Bologna's cultural evolution. So uh, they have uh, um, a long uh, story, but also a, a stratification through time of different uh, uh, characters, architectures, because we have porticos of houses, uh, of public buildings, of university. They are important because it's a public space built by the people for the people. The campaign for UNESCO acknowledgement started in 2006 and those involved in the project say its inclusion will help protect the porticos but also promote them. Of course, uh, the inscription in the list uh, is uh, the occasion also for uh, uh, restarting with tourism and also rethinking uh, the city branding in its uh, whole uh, conception. Other sites on Italy's prestigious list include Venice and its lagoons, the historical centres of Rome and Siena, and Veneto's Prosecco Hills. Italy now has the most UNESCO World Heritage listed sites of any country with 58 entries, closely followed by China with 56 and Germany with 51. UNESCO is currently celebrating its 75th anniversary with a conference in Paris, honouring both founders and member states for their work in creating a global community, a community that prides itself in protecting the world's cultural heritage. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Bologna.